Hi there, Sagittarius. Welcome back to Star Lord is Tarot. This is your tarot forecast for the month of September 2023. I went ahead, shuffle the cards, laid them all out. Let's see what's going on for Sagittarius. This is the monthly format where we start off with the overall energy and break it down week by week. Your um, monthly overall energy is the world in the upright position. Scorpio got it in the exact same position. Something is closing out for you this month, Sagittarius. Now for some of you, this I call this the graduation card. You could be graduating, maybe you've been uh, studying something for a while and you finally finished, this is your graduation, you're ready to move on to the next phase of your journey. So for others of you, this could represent um, closing out a long-standing career that you've had. Maybe you're ready to pack it in and move, do something else. Maybe some of you want to travel across the world. Maybe you want to set up a business or a home somewhere else. Some of you just want to retire and travel. Um, others of you could be selling the long-standing family home where you raise your children, that kind of stuff. Um, for others of you, you could just be, um, you know, ready for something new. You're just saying, I don't want to do this. And maybe you want to change it all. Maybe you just want to switch it all up. New place, new, a new start. <laughs> uh, week one, you have the four of pentacles in the upright, rooted down by major account of the hermit reversed. Four of Pentacles in the upright position it is the little hoarder card where we're trying to hold on so tightly to something. We just don't want to let it go. <laughs> um, sometimes this can indicate the need to maybe have a garage sale, <laughs> get rid of some of your belongings. Um, but this is, in all seriousness, this is about holding on too tightly. Sometimes it can represent holding on to too tightly to old belief systems and old patterns that don't serve us any longer and it's best to lighten the load. Sometimes the Four of Pentacles can represent holding on very tightly to a financial situation. Maybe we feel like it's going to float away if we don't hold on to our pennies. It could be about making sure all of our ducks are in a row financially, especially if you're mad, um, planning on changing something in a big way. Like the world is just like really changing it up. And so maybe some of you are trying to consolidate all of your finances into one easy payment to make things easier financially for you. Others of you, perhaps you're just feeling nostalgic and you just want to hold on. Maybe you don't want to to sell the, the family home because you're attached to it, you know, for sentimental reasons and it's time to sort of loosen the grip. The card that's rooting it down here is the Virgo energy, the hermit in the reverse position. The hermit in the upright position is where we need to pull back to do some studying, but uh, you've already graduated, so there's no more need to do that. Uh, we could be holding back because we're trying to look research something maybe some of you are planning like i said to set up a new business somewhere else or move somewhere else and you've been doing a lot of research and studying on the area when the card is reversed like it is for you this is where it's time to get moving your ducks are in a row here you just got to let go of old limiting belief systems or uh, get your financial affairs in order and then it's time to move like when the hermit's reversed the prep time is over it's time to get moving towards your goals now. In week two, we have the Seven of Pentacles in the upright rooted down by the Eight of Pentacles reversed, which is funny. It points back to the Seven of Pentacles, right? <laughs> this card points back to the Seven of Pentacles. But anyway, um, I love it when Tarot does that. It's hilarious because the Seven of Pentacles is a card that represents reevaluating a situation, looking, taking stock, making sure that, you know, however we have, whatever we've laid our foundation on, whether it be our material goods, our, our job, our finances, what have you, we just need to take a closer look at it to make sure it's still intact, make sure it's still the way. Like sometimes the Seven of Pentacles will even come up when we're in the middle, like we've been working at a job, say for seven years, and we're looking and saying, is this still profitable for me? Is this still something I want to do? Even though I'm making money at it, is it still something I want to do? Sometimes it can be looking again at your investments or your investment properties, things like that, and taking a close look at it and wondering if this is still you something you want to pursue. With the Eight of Pentacles in reverse, well, it points back to the Seven of Pentacles. This is all about halting the 
the process of moving forward. This is the worker B card in the upright where we're working towards a goal. A goal. When it's in reverse, this is where we're pausing and saying, well, wait, this can sometimes come about when we're uh, dealing with layoffs or we're dealing with um, a timeout from our job situation or uh, even if you work, maybe some people just work you know, periodically here and there, they, they freelance. So this could be a period where there's just no, you know, freelance work for you right now because you need to step back and, and take a close look. Is this something I still wanna do? Is this still gonna make me happy going forward? Um, am I still gonna be able to make the money that I need to make? You know, with inflation, it constantly goes up, things go up. And maybe you're saying like, hey, I haven't had a raise in forever. And I don't know if this job is going to be sustainable for me in the future when everything is going up and my wage is not. So it could be something like that. Maybe it's a strike for some of you. Maybe you're going on strike, things like that. And it's a pullback from, from the work ahead because you're really, really needing to reevaluate something. In week three, you have the Seven of Cups in the upright rooted down by the Four of Cups upright. So Seven of Cups is all about, there's lots of opportunities, there's lots of options out there. I just need to find something that makes me happy. That's what it seems like, Sagittarius. You're kind of in a crisis right now of, um, do I continue on making my money this way where it's all just about money or do I try to find something that's gonna bring me emotional fulfillment and happiness, which is always the suggestion. I always say, if you find something that you love to do, guess what, the money follows. And sometimes it can be way more money than you were making before when you were just in a job for the money. So you're looking through your options and your opportunities here is Neptunian energy. So there could be a little bit of confusion, but it's always better to have too many options than not enough. So it could be that you're looking to find something right now that really gonna bring you emotional happiness. Maybe you wanna find something to do for a living that's gonna bring happiness to you. Four of Cups is here, rooting it down. The Four of Cups is a, a card that represents emotional apathy. Maybe you're trying to bring that emotion back in because you have been in a state of emotional apathy for a while. The universe has been trying to offer you something to bring you that emotional happiness, but you've been ignoring it for some reason. So it looks like maybe you're ready to finally that's what the world card is here, right? You're completing something, at least sometimes when we know what we don't want, it helps to, if we eliminate that, it helps us to open up our minds to some things that we do want. Maybe you've been emotionally numb for quite some time now, Sagittarius, and you're just like, no, I need to find something now that's gonna bring me happiness. And let us know in the comment section below, are any of you feeling this way? Is Has this been a situation for you? Um, yeah, week four, the final week of the reading, you have justice in the upright position rooted down by the queen of pentacles, upright. Justice in the upright is just about that. It's Libra energy. It's about, um, finally, uh, bringing justice to a situation. Sometimes it can represent literal justice. If you are dealing with a court situation, maybe there's something in court going on, you're waiting for your funds or waiting for somebody to get justice because of some injustice that happened you could be hearing at the end of the month um, some situation that has been ongoing that you're involved with in the courts maybe the courts are, fa are um, ruling in your favor for others of you this could represent poetic justice where you finally see something unfolding and you're kind of like hmm I know why that's happening <laughs> um, for others of you, this could be about arbitration. This could be about, like again, remember I had mentioned something about strikes before, maybe your uh, company's on strike or something like that, and you're waiting for it to go to arbitration. It could be representing an arbitration is finally, uh, there's a ruling on that. It could be justice finally coming into, you know, your household. It could be coming into your workplace. It could be where things have been really out of balance. They're coming back into balance again. It's rooted down here by the Queen of Pentacles in the upright position. It is a court card, could be representing a person if it's representing a person. This is Earth Energy, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Sun, Moon, or Rising. Queen of Pentacles um, is a, an energy that's really, really solid, can sometimes represent dealing with um, um, an accountant 
uh, somebody who's who deals in money like a financial advisor it could be dealing with um, uh, you know the owner of a business maybe this person is a, uh, in position to be able to aid you and help you in some way uh, financially it could be a real estate agent loans officer or something like that maybe there's some justice coming to you when it comes to a financial matter right especially if this is an arbitration or even a court case there could be you could be seeing some funds coming your way through this uh, queen of pentacles or if you've been having an issue with the queen of pentacles if that's your partner or um you know family member or friend or something like that you could be seeing some justice uh playing out with them maybe things come back into balance again with this queen of pentacles so that's what I have for you, my dear Sagittarius, except for the final two cards from the Zodiac deck. One is for love and romance, the second is career and finance. So let's see for love and romance, what do we have? Sagittarius, uh, number 33, growth. So it could be Sagittarius is a, a love interest, could be you meet someone through a Sagittarius, or something significant happens when the moon is in Sagittarius. Maybe there's some growth in your relationship, um, especially when the moon's in Sagittarius. There could you could be seeing some growth, especially if this is this justice here is about a relationship. Like if this Queen of Pentacles is your partner, there could be uh, some growth here now that justice is his has been made. You know. Like if there was injustice, now there's justice. So it could be bringing some growth to the relationship. So the second card here is for uh, career and finance. Let's see. We have Aries, number one. New beginnings, number one. So it could be for some of you, you could have a new beginning in a financial situation. It makes so much sense because of what's going on here at the beginning of the month, right? With the four of pentacles, seven of pentacles, the... There's something going on with your pentacles here. So it could be a career and finance. There could be a new beginning here. And it could be right at the first of the month because number one is here. Or it could be with or through an Aries or when uh, the moon is in Aries. So that's what I have for you, Sagittarius. Thank you so much for joining me. I really hope the reading helped you. If it did, please feel free to like, share, and subscribe. And have a fabulous month of September. Much love. Take care. Bye-bye for now.